Hi and welcome to a new video. Today we want to discuss what turned out differently than expected when buying a mini poodle. I mean, of course, before Muki moved in, we thought a lot about what could happen and how he would behave. And in the following, we describe what we expected, but what didn't happen at all, and what completely surprised us. So, a few things that were much easier than expected. Um, first thing, the night rest. We had already imagined horror scenarios of many sleepless nights and were firmly convinced that in the beginning we would have to get up like several times at night to go potty with Moki. But after only two nights in which we only had to get up once each time, everything was fine. So from then on, Muki slept through the night for almost 10 hours in his crate and it couldn't have gone much better. For the first week he had his crate in our bedroom, then in the office, which is right next to the bedroom, and we had the doors open. And um, still, until today, Muki loves his crate. In the morning, we often have to ask him out of his crate to go for a walk. Second, potty training. We also had our concerns about potty training, but these two were completely unfounded. Overall, only like six accidents happened and in five of those cases it was completely our fault and once it was because of the food or yeah rather his teeth something was wrong so again I assumed it would take Muki much longer to get used to the fixed potty routine but after a few weeks we were able to establish four walks a day at eight in the morning and ten in the evening we did like a quick walk around the block for about ten minutes and in addition to that in the afternoon at like 1 or noon at 12 and in the evening we took a much longer walk through the forest or the meadows and uh, that was a lot of fun for Muki. Third, nibbling on things. Before Muki arrived we made the apartment dog proof and I would always recommend that but in the end it never occurred to him to chew on a cable or a chair leg. He always had a chewing rope or toy to occupy himself with and that seems to be sufficient for him. The only quirk he had, which he has broken by now, was tying up shoelaces. Well, he didn't tear them apart, but rather tighten them so much that I often had to retie the shoes. But I mean, that was a manageable problem. Now we're coming to the things that were much more complicated than we expected. And the first one is food refusal. We have already dealt with the topic in another article, but to be honest, we never expected that this could be such a big problem. We didn't know about dogs' loss of appetite and food refusal, but apparently that's not untypical, especially in mini poodles. But if you're well informed and know how to deal with it, this problem is not too severe as well. In any case, it's definitely good to know that it's a little more complicated to encourage a poodle to eat. He's not starving, he's just not that hungry all the time. Uh, we expected him to eat like three meals a day. He only had like one and a half and that was completely okay. Second, uh, control compulsion or fear of loss. Well, unfortunately, Muki is very fixated on his mistress. This means that if I need to go to the restroom in a restaurant, for example, he starts howling. It's not like super loud, but still annoying. And although there are other people he knows very well, he starts complaining whenever I leave. So even if we go for a walk together and I go ahead or go to a shop for, for a quick moment, he starts to nag. It's probably not a fear of loss, it's more of a compulsion to control. Or he like just wants to be there all the time, he's like the biggest FOMO. We have to train a lot in small steps and it's still until today pretty difficult. Third 
excitement. Moki is a lively bundle of energy outside at home. He's not at all like that. He has gotten used to our quiet everyday life and he seems to indulge in it. But when we go outside, everything is exciting. As soon as the leash is put on, he knows that something great is about to happen. And that's why we consistently practice that we only go out when he is waiting quietly sitting at the door. Uh, another thing, he also associated driving with excitement for a long time. Well, admittedly, most of the time we drove to like puppy school or to the park. But in the meantime, however, we have driven him so often in the car that he no longer is in tension. He got used to it. And um, another thing, uh, meeting other dogs was also an issue. He loves other dogs. Whether they are big or small, young or old, all dogs are playmates to him. And he has to learn the hard way that this, is, that this does not reflect reality. Especially older dogs rarely want to romp and sometimes he has to be slowed down by them with a growl. Which is fine. Dogs train dogs. And um, we're pretty sure the excitement will certainly diminish with age. Although... I believe that Muki will always remain a little whirlwind. Thank you for listening and let us know in the comments what you expected and what turned out to be completely different. Thank you.